I'm just going to be straight to the point with this video. Be completely honest with yourself right now. Does your current environment, social status, friends, workplace, school, classes, etc. line up exactly with where you want to be and or your goals in life? If they are or are not, don't worry. That's completely okay because I know my environment definitely is not perfect either. I'm sure you've heard this from a lot of other people because I know I have too. But your environment determines a lot of things about you. And sometimes we can get a little bit relaxed on what we let into our day-to-day -day lives. Your environment, no matter what you are doing, can determine a lot of things. For example, if you're training, I found that I personally am more likely to train harder when I'm under some form of pressure, whether that be competition, training, um, training with people on a higher level, or just training with no distractions whatsoever. For example, when I was training preseason with my high school basketball team, we trained with a lot of higher level athletes like varsity and jv right people who are a lot better than we were um obviously I, i'm a freshman but this showed me how strong i could get and it also encouraged me to push harder because i was around peers and i knew i had competition now i rarely find myself in these situations and i don't know if it's the same for you or not but no matter whether you're training studying or even just in school your environment dictates the majority of your outcome if you're sitting with people in school and none of you focus then you probably won't focus either now maybe you can but you definitely won't focus as easily as you would if you're sitting by yourself or with people that also focus and take it seriously if you train with an athlete that pushes themselves then you most likely will push yourself too and that goes the other way around your environment shapes you, but you can shape your environment. But with all of that being said, I've kind of emphasized that your environment is only the people you orient yourself with, which I'm not telling you to change at all. I think that the biggest change in your environment should probably be the more physical aspect as in like the items and the literal objects in your environment are you working out in a serious gym do you have your device turned off and out of arm's reach while you're studying or working i i definitely should listen to this one a little bit more because i know i get distracted quite a bit even when i'm scripting these youtube videos but leaving these distractions around you can definitely hinder your productivity even if it is just a little bit. Now, in no way am I saying that there is no reason to have a little bit of fun or you can't goof off just a little bit. I'm saying that it's definitely worth it to try and get your environment as distraction-free and helpful as possible, especially your working environments where you're trying to improve. I think you could even encourage your friends to think about this as well, because then you can help each other and stay focused and you can work together as... You've probably noticed the theme from my current or past videos, if you've watched, is that I think teamwork and working as a team is very important and can help you quite a bit. I've personally found this out just by myself, and I'm not sure if you guys have noticed anything in this video as well. I'm sure you have, but this video can just be kind of a reminder to focus on your environment if you've already known about this. Thank you so much for watching. It means a ton to me. And I really hope this video helped you in some way. And if you enjoyed it, I have several others on this channel, similar to this one as well, that you are free to check out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.